Hello. Are you doing fine? Good. Oi. Um, yes, it's really nice to be here. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, uh, I'm the CEO for the, 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 Norwegian, the Norwegian Network for Performing Arts in, uh, in Norway for young audiences. The Norwegian name of my uh, institution is Scenekunstbruke. Um, so uh, that's the short name of it. Uh, and we also run a festival called Showbox, uh, where I'm the festival uh, director for this festival. Greetings from Norway. It's uh, great to hear that you are uh, starting up this uh, school bag uh, system. We have uh, had this system since 2001 as a national um, national uh, s uh, system. And uh, my institution uh, started in 1994. And um, uh, I thought I would give you a kind of a view into our work because it's um, uh, it fits to this uh, work in the in the, the Norwegian cultural school bag, um, and uh, we are the largest largest provider of performing arts in uh, the cultural school bag. So uh, I think it's absolutely interesting for you to hear about how we work together uh, as an art institution uh, together in this uh, system uh, all over the um, all over the, the country so uh, i will try to f yeah <laughs> very small um, so uh, i will give you a as i said as a view of this um, landscape of performing arts because it's, it has to be how we connect it and how we can uh, work uh, in this network of this school bag to, uh, to provide and to disseminate uh, performing arts to schools in Norway. And uh, a little about the activity and the competence level, talking about the quality and, uh, and the art. And of course, uh, a little about the childhood, how we look at children in um, the Nordic country, also uh, in, in Latvia, I think. Um, but that's an, um, I think it's an interesting view. So um, let's start with, uh, with just the landscape and, and, uh, and the country of Norway. Uh, I think all of you maybe knows that country, uh, our country is very long. Uh, from the end and the south there. Can I use this one? <laughs> yeah, thank you. From the south and to the north uh, over the, um, what's it called, uh, the polar line, uh, north uh, line. And uh, it's, it's a very, it's a very um, uh, difficult country to tour in. So when we want to to uh, to um, to have theater all over Norway in each in each schools in Norway we have three thousand schools in Norway. That's uh, for our sake uh, we will provide with the theater and dance performing arts. So uh, just a short. This is the institution and the festivals and and the whole uh, theater field in Norway teach and dance field and uh, and uh, we are a part of it uh, as one of the institution and also uh, we are a national distribution uh, institution so and we also have our own uh, festival just to give you a view of this map and how we can get a performance uh, from uh, down the south up the north it's uh, quite uh, expensive and uh, a lot of mountains and uh, fjords and everything. So, okay, um, what is our uh, job? Um, Senkunsbruke uh, is a Norwegian network, as I said, for performing arts for young audiences. Our job is to have an overview. Uh, we have a, the uh, overview of what has been uh, made of uh, theater and dance in Norway. Um, we are forming a repertoire with a wide artistic range and based on existing productions. It means that we are not making the productions, but it's the independent groups and the institutions that are making the production. We are looking at it and uh, do a kind of a quality uh, stamp on it and put it in a repertoire 
then the schools and the municipalities and the counties can pick from. They can see that these performances, okay, this is, uh, uh, this, someone say that it's good quality, uh, so we can choose that one, and we can choose another one from another place. But, uh, but uh, if it's in our repertoire, they know that uh, it's uh, quality, and uh, we also helped um, the counties to, uh, to choose performances. Um, in Norway, we have 19 counties. Uh, they're beginning to uh, to connect to each other, but uh, still we have 19 counties, and we have over 400 municipalities. So this is our network. Uh, the counties are paying us some money for doing this job, to have this overview, to to uh, to um, to have the discussion about quality, and. Um, uh, and then they are the programmers in the cultural school bag. Uh, because in each county they have schools and venues, so they, uh, it persons in the counties are sitting to, uh, are sitting and, and uh, uh, program uh, the whole uh, the cultural uh, school bag. And Senekunsbruke uh, is based upon a distributed networks, the, the model. And I will show you that shortly, because I think that's important also um, for the view of uh, how we organize the school bag. Because we have a centralized uh, uh, distribution model that uh, is, is kind of all distribution models. We don't use that so much anymore. And we also have, have a decentralized model that the region theater can produce in a, re a region and uh, distribute in their region. And then we have this distributed networks model, uh, which um, our organization work uh, from, is that uh, our job is to connect all the dots. You have the schools here, you have the independent groups here, you have the uh, programmer here, you have the producers here. So our uh, our job is to to hold in this to to, to keep this network alive in a way. So um, uh, and it also means that the the power in the network is also distributed. So the programmers for the cultural uh, school bag uh, in the counties the, they choose what they want in their region and in the schools. And we can say, have a list of 100 productions. If you choose one of them, uh, we, we mean it's good, uh, good quality. So we have a repertoire. Uh, last year we had uh, 62 productions, different uh, theater performances, uh, playing 2,500 times in all of the countries, and uh, for the audience of 245,000. So it's a quite big system. Uh, and of course, with this uh, cultural school bag, the, the distribution has increased uh, very much. So uh, when the schools or programmers, uh, I don't know if you have time for that, but at the internet, our websites, uh, they can go in and look at the repertoire, reading about this performance, see the video, and, uh, and also find out how many, uh, people going on tour, how much does it cost, and uh, also uh, maybe some, if if the company has some workshop uh, after or before the performances, it will also uh, you you will also find it there. Uh, we have also a financial a financial support. That means that if a programmer, a county, and or or school uh, choose one or our uh, the performances in our repertoire, they get some of the money refunded. So we are each year uh, giving out money to the to the arrangers, to the venues, to the to the counties, so they can, in a way, buy more performing arts. Um, and we also have a production. The companies can also apply for. Uh, money for the productions, so uh, so they also can make new art. 
Uh, yeah, the cultural rucksack, we called it the cultural rucksack, now it's new name, the cultural school bag. Anyway, this is the same. Um, as I said, we are the national uh, promoter of performing arts in this system. We followed it uh, close since 2001. And uh, it's been a really uh, uh, important uh, important thing for us to to uh, to reach all the children and the youth with art, and uh, as you saw at the presentation from from uh, the other Norwegian guy <laughs> on the video, we um, each pupil we have about eight hundred and twenty thousand uh, pupils in Norway that we are going to provide with art, music, with uh, literature, performing arts, uh, visual arts, uh, cultural heritage, and uh, what did I forget? Music, yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a big system. Um, yeah. And it's, it's from the pupils, uh, the students from six years to 19 years, a whole, a whole, uh, all way. Uh, it's it's also important in the cultural school bag that we ha have also international network, and in all, our uh, work as well. We think it's important that um, the students are uh, meeting different variety uh, kind of um, of performing arts, both from abroad and both nationally. So we have a big big exchange program with, with the foreign artists as well. And we are also running two uh, EU uh, projects, um, one called PUSH, where we are studying uh, uh, issues about uh, theater for young audiences, going on the gender and sexual identity. How much can we talk about that in schools to children in the performances? Migration is a is a important topic, and uh, over over protection. Are we protecting our children too much, uh, or uh, what what do we do with that? And also the teen uh, project. It's another EU project that we have that uh, we want to engage the youth, the teenagers, to what what should we do uh, to um, to engage them more in theater. Uh, yes. And uh, also we have a festival, Showbox Festival. It was uh, in the la in last week, uh, the festival. And um, this is the largest performing arts festival in Norway and uh, takes place now in the late November, beginning of December. Um, and in a way, uh, this Showbox Festival is, a, is our heart in, in our, 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 our organization, but also the heart in the network. Because at that festival, uh, the counties are coming, uh, many of the teachers, schools are coming, the, the, the artists, of course, are coming. And uh, so we have seminars talking about uh, the cultural school, school bag and, and uh, also how we development, uh, develop uh, art. Um, so it's a, it's a huge network place. Uh, which it's important to keep this uh, network in the school bag uh, running. Yeah, that's the logo of the festival. It changes, changes, changes each year, but it's all it always a box. Where are we? Young voices. Yes. Um, we are grown up people and. Uh, uh, in the counties and in the schools, teachers, we are all grown up. And we have a power that we said that we, this performance is good for the teenagers. As a grown up, uh, I can say that, uh, okay, this is uh, very quality, uh, high quality performances, but what about the teenagers themselves? Uh, do they have a voice in here? To, to connect, to have a kind of ownership in this uh, school bag system. Um, so we started a project for several years ago called uh, Young Voices, uh, where we um, try to connect uh, 
uh, connect uh, teenagers uh, to to write about um, to, to reflect about the performing arts, um, so they uh, can tell us what they think of our job, <laughs> that are uh, are saying that this and this is good. So we have a web page, uh, and it's also in English now, connected with this EU project Teen. Uh, so we do it in both Italian, Danish, uh, English and Norwegian from now on. Uh, and um, it gives also the artist a very good, um, what's it called, a uh, very good uh, uh, view of uh, their own art. When the teenagers, they, they're making art for, for, uh, for children and the children can, can uh, tell them if uh, they think it's good. So, where are we? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in in the end, I will also say that uh, an important work for us is to to do research, to to develop uh, both the network and the uh, and the art uh, arena, and. Um, uh, we also had uh, for two years ago we, we gave up a uh, gave out um, uh, anthology, which uh, a lot of articles and uh, scientific uh, stuff and everything about the the, the performing arts and the young uh, audiences. Because um, as I said, I will say a little about the childhood um, and and um, what the cultural school bag has done to the art field in the in Norway of uh, spe especially the art field for young audiences because uh, several of the best artists and the companies are now doing work for younger audience and it's really important for the status for the art uh, from being a field that had uh, a really low sta uh, status bad economy and where everyone looked, uh, especially to maybe Denmark for doing uh, things, uh, everything better. Uh, I think uh, through this cultural school uh, bag in Norway, we have seen a kind of revolution in how, uh, how the artists are making art for uh, children and youth. And uh, of course, they also had their uh, big, um, big workplace. I mean, last year it was two, three, four hundred uh, performing art artists going around in this system. So it's, it's a big work, uh, workplace for artists. Um, and we have a whole new attention to the perspective of art and art experience as something valuable for children in itself. And as I said, how we look at children is uh, and, and youth is important. For me, uh, childhood, uh, childhood is not just some years we have to pass to becoming adults. Everyone in this room has lived, uh, regardless of how old you are, have lived a whole, a whole life. So uh, no matter what you have experienced in your life, no matter how old or young you are, you have lived a whole life. So uh, I strongly mean that People should have the possibility to meet art where they are in their life and have art experiences regardless of age. And I think that's important to know why also a lot of performing artists are working now with uh, performing arts for children and youth. Children are beings, not becomings, is the word from here. So, um, if I will, much time I have, yeah. If I should give you some advice <laughs> to uh, to how we work, uh, um, work, uh, continue to work with this uh, system. I can take this, and you can look at our website if you have time. It is that you. Um, in Norway, it's 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 the art that is is the core of of the cultural school bag. It's it's how we provide professional art to children and youth, uh, and I think it's important to build the system from bottom and up, 
that the, the ownership from the schools, from the pupils, from the counties, now you don't have counties, you have municipalities. Um, so everyone in this system feel that they own the project. I think that's the success of the project. Uh, and uh, activate all parts of the art field. Have good system for quality assessment. Uh, so, if you do that, uh, and if you are tell the children and the, that art is important and it's important in the school as a core of this structure, I will think that uh, you are doing an investment of the future. Actually, you are um, as a nation and for every human being. So I, <laughs> I wish you uh, all the best for the beginning and the next period for the cultural, no, not the cultural, the Latvian school bag. Thank you.